G'day mate, welcome back to Factorio with me, GD. So, first things first, this episode, I want to get... Uh, whole bunch of them. Uh, I want to raid that machine, that machine, that machine, deconstruct all of this, and... That's a bit many than a bit more than I thought, but that's okay. We're gonna deconstruct that too. I want to get a power armor, uh, electric engines, which are here again. I want to get a power armor. Then I want to get a portable fusion reactor. Uh, blue circuits. Yep, just run along the belt, absorb them all. Uh, one. What do I need? Low density structures. We can grab them from right here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, nope, one of them. Uh, turns out we don't have better batteries researched yet. But I'm going to want some when we get there. I do have two already that came with tiny armor. Uh, two legs. Uh... What do I need for one of those? More low density structures. One. What do I need for more of those? Uh, steel? Steel. Uh, steel belt is that one. Two. And I'm happy to handcraft all this stuff. Like, don't get me wrong. It'd be nice to automate it. But realistically, handcrafting it is perfectly fine. Uh... Trash slot. Okay, finally with the upgraded U Butte Power Armor 2, we can now feel like a real engineer and really get around the base and do things. Uh, night vision, uh, solar panel. Nope. Yeah, solar panel in there. Uh, we're going to throw in these portable fusion reactors as well. I don't really need personal robots just yet. Um, in saying that, I do need. Eight more of them crafted. So where's the battery line? Battery line's all the way down here. Batteries. One. Uh, steel. Two, three, four. Maybe with less gears. Uh, gear belt. Uh... Steel again. Uh, that belt. Okay, so that's eight with the two I've got. That's enough for two Mark IIs. Uh, batteries, we've got another full-size battery. Two more sets of legs. I think our power armor's probably done. And it's not saying I won't want another, another one for later on for combat. Um, okay, so the next thing I want to do, and this one's really important, uh, I want to set up module production. Uh, and I want to actually get this started before we do anything else. So, module production has a ratio of... Uh, you need five twos for a three. You need four, four ones for a two. And you need lots of ones. So, if my memory serves me correctly, it should be... Two, five, ten. At least I hope. Uh, we're going to want red and green belt, uh, which only goes that far. And then we're going to want red and blue belt, which goes that far. Uh, we're going to want ins. Uh, no. Ins are like that. Uh, outs. Copy, paste, 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 paste. Um, I guess I've turned off my robot somehow. Bring that belt all the way down. I need that. And then I need one of these. And I need to line it up here. 
sure about that. Join those belts in. That's an underground and then an underground. Okay, so this should give us module ones, which we're going to take up here to our module twos. Our module twos need this belt hooked up, which is, I'm out of belts, that's fine. That is... Uh, red and blue, uh, which needs to plug in there. Can we? Are we outside robot range? No, we just got lazy robots. Okay, so this is going to get some module ones. Module ones go into module twos, which should be in. Uh, in with power and then we can give you a short out like that one oops two uh and then you got an odd one uh and then we bring that up and you should have in, 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 power, power, uh, nope, that's got to go there. <sighs> Try again, JD. Nope, I just put the power pole in exactly back in the same spot. Uh, okay, let's assume you do go there. Passive fighter. Okay, finally. Give power to that, power to that. All right. So that's the start of our module production. Now, first thing I'm going to want to do is upgrade planner all of them because I want lots of modules. Uh, yes, I might have forgotten a power connection. All right. And. Uh, we can import module ones as well. Yes. So we can also, because we're making them elsewhere, import module ones. So I'm going to set you to if uh, module ones. Where are we making module ones? Module ones are here. They put a chest, it's capped to 100. So if is greater than 75 in the network, then <coughs> if is less than, is if is greater than 75 in the network, and then you're gonna request them to here and you're gonna output them. Okay, so that's stage one, module production. Uh, beautiful thing about stage one of module production is it's going to directly lead to stage two of module production, stage three of module production, and stage four of module production. Yeah. Mm. Basically, I don't want to have any spare green circuits, red circuits, or blue circuits. I want to make sure they're all being used up in something important, like modules. Uh, I also want all those trees to go away, please. Uh, we're gonna put those speed modules in there, and there is no way you're gonna have speed, module le speed modules left over to do the other ones, but that's fine. Same with... Look, you might have excess modules, I guess. Uh, where's module... Purple science, purple science. Well, straight away, let's upgrade those so they run a little bit faster, and then we'll see what happens. Uh, robots, of course. Please fit. Nope. Okay, we're going to put that up there then. Uh, please get power. Yeah, good. All right. Uh, and please go away. 
All right, so you're gonna go there to there, there to there. I'm literally just need to copy. Nope, I need to copy that whole section and paste. And where does crap line up? There. Yeah, cool. All right. Cancel these. There is a way to do that with a decon planner, but I just can't be bothered because it's only a few of them. Uh, we're going to change you to speed modules, and we're going to change you to speed modules, and we're going to change you to speed modules, and we're going to change you guys to speed modules as well. So this will be our speed module production area. We've got two for prob mods. Two, four, oh, wrong one. Uh, two for prods, two for speed. Hopefully that's enough modules just to get us started and get the ball rolling. Uh, look, just put them straight in there. Uh, I want to dump all of those and all of those and all that crap. And throw more stuff in my armor. Thanks, autosave. Uh, have we unlocked? Nope. What's the story with research? It's super slow. Is it super slow or is it just everything's running flat out, including red and green, and everything else has a longer buffer? Everything else has a longer buffer. Uh... Look, I don't object to chewing through our buffer just a little bit. Okay, buy one extra machine. Because it turns out I didn't leave enough room for two. Uh, and I left enough room for two there, so I'm going to use two there. Uh, okay, so, research has been sped up a little bit. Uh, I said this episode I want to get rockets done. Uh... What else are looking for in my power armor? Uh, those can go to the trash slot. Uh, my batteries are charged now, so that can go in there. I wanted to get... Okay, I want to make sure you're doing fine. Plastic's doing fine. Everything's doing fine. We want explosives. Explosives are... Sulfur. And then water and coal from memory. Petroleum is here. You know what? We'll extend it out one more. We will go. Go away, trees! And that also means I need to bring the water line with me as well. Of course you want to shot. Uh, plug that in there. You're going to output onto a belt. And then I want eight. Eight, I think, is the right ratio. I think. Doing all this off memory because obviously the chem plants haven't arrived yet for me to actually set the recipes. Uh... We want to run that down there. Uh, we want power, obviously. Okay. Uh, explosives. Sulfur, coal, and water. Yep. Okay, so that means I need to get coal onto that belt, which is unfortunate because that's going to be a little bit tricky. Yep. Uh, upgrade planner. That. Then that. Then that. And then you have twice the throughput required. Which is something I avoided doing just like two episodes ago. But now it means I should be able to siphon off this coal. 
without a hassle. Should. Uh, uh, yeah, every, literally everything is in the way right here. All right, let's go down around and through here instead where almost everything is in the way. Okay, now we can come back up and we want to run into that bit of belt. All right. I'll set the recipe on those. We want insert it in. Insert it out. No, insert it out. Insert it. Oh, players in the way. Yeah, I know. Insert it out. That's our build. Copy, paste, paste, paste. And for the moment, explosives can do this fancy thing where it goes into a box. And we're just going to let the bots deal with it, which is all the way back here. It's okay. I want to extend the robot range out anyway. Done. Okay, so we've got explosives, which means we can start making cliff explosives. Also means I can start making... Um, Blasting caps. Blasting caps allow me to just punch a hole wherever I feel like it and get water that way. So that just a little bit of a quality of life mod. Makes my life a little bit easier. Uh, you guys never got prod mods, which you can definitely use. Uh, and oil is still fine. I gotta keep an eye on that oil line because eventually those pump checks will start to run dry, at which point I need to speed module the um, pump jacks. Okay. So, checking along the bus again. Green circuits are struggling. Excellent. That's that's what we want to see. Uh, we also want to see... You're using 28 iron. Uh, 28 copper, rather. And you're now using 52. So let's try and work out exactly where... Hang on. What do we say? You're using 28. And the belt moves... 30. Not a big difference, but it's a little bit of a difference. Okay. Our iron belts go in further, so they should be fine. And you use how much? 20. And that was how many machines? Uh, 11. That's an odd number. Okay, so it means if I copy one, two, three, four, five, if I copy six of these guys, the last ones we probably won't be able to run, but that's okay. Dump that down there. That should be able to build and should give us more green circuits once again. Power, 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 power. All right, we're going to do something about power again. Uh, actually, before we do something about power, I actually can do it from here. We want concrete. I like it on a small path, okay? Um, it's to make sure I don't accidentally wander off the path when I didn't mean to. Um, so why I like to make them nice and narrow so I don't take up too much space in the base. All right, that's officially getting to me now. There's no good... Yeah, there is a uh, landfill. Uh, maybe not that much landfill, maybe just that much landfill. Uh, have we even, I don't even know whether we've crafted landfill. Uh, nice narrow path all the way down to, well that's a problem. Down to there. Okay, batteries are done. Um, other critical science. Okay, so obviously a Covrex process, uh, no, not productivity module four. Uh, obviously artillery, because that finishes off our workshop. Uh, logistic slot six, sure. Uh, explosive rocketry. Uh, combat robotics. Uh, we're not doing follower account, ignoring that. Refined flammables, okay. Which means none of these pipes got put in, which means this whole steam array never actually got off the ground. That's good to know. 
Ah, remember what I was saying about we're going to have explosive excavation? It now also means that I should be able to put my next build right there. Go to here, and I want to say, you guys... Oh, no! Do not blow up that much! Or even that much. I want to blow up that, and that, and that, and that. Uh, that's all I want to blow up. And... 2.8k, 2.5k. I uh, have some more mini meats. Well, that can actually go straight in there. Okay. Are you running? You're running. You're running. What else do you need? Two cliff explosives and a barrel. Uh, you just need stuff delivered faster. Way faster. Uh, actually, I can do that by copying that. Putting that at my feet. Setting that to like you know, a realistic number. And that to a much more realistic number. Cutting it so bots don't actually deliver it to a box where I don't want them. Paste it over the top. And now we're delivering a whole heap of crap. <clears throat> Alright, the barrel machine might be a little, little bit slow. No, we got six barrels. No, barrel machine is not slow at all. Okay. Uh, power. Okay, so that's that hooked up to the rest of the network. You're going to want a robo port as well. Yeah, we'll go wide berth around these because, as you can see, the bots are already pop coming over here and popping down some water, which is exactly what I want to see. Okay, I have. You know what? We're just going to rip up these pumps. The fish can stay. Because uh, it's now way easier for me to just stamp these down exactly where I feel like it. Uh, you know what? I feel like I had four pumps, which is enough to build two of these. So we should probably build two of these. Uh, okay, the fact that it says 92 of 104 means I think we're being close to maxing that one out. Uh, Copy uh, that, including tiles. Paste that there. Remove the belt. I just need the actual excavation built. Uh, yeah, that one's still got some throughput on it. That one, I think that's pretty much maxed out. Uh, yeah, that can go away. Uh, that can also go away. Uh, has that solved our power problem? No, nah, not really. Uh, oh, 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 blue belt. Uh, splitters. Underounce. Uh, lube. Lube was that pipe. And uh, just bear with me. Oh, 12 of those in there. Make them, please. Uh, I think that's faster. Okay, back to lube pipe problems. We want all those trees cleared out. Nope, tree or a Compatron hit me already. Uh, right there, please. And lubricant. Okay, now my tank of lube is finally going to have a use. A very big use. Uh, I need passive provider chest there, there, and there. Uh, you're uncapped. You're capped to like that. And you're also capped to like that. Uh, which means... Do we have artillery? 
No, I'd sorry to research after this one. Okay, we're getting close. We're getting close to be able to just putting down the final blueprint, at which point I'll, I'll then share that in uh, the description. I have had ask, uh, people ask me to um, share my blueprints as a blueprint book, which will actually happen probably when the series, oh, this mini series ends. Um, I figure that's a good, ooh, uh, I just got rid of those. Uh, that's a good way of doing it. Um, that way I've got time to refine them because they definitely need a little bit of, a little bit of TLC. Uh, we want that one. One of them. Okay, that's done. Uh, where's RoboPort Mark 2? I honestly don't know what it looks like. I know I've avoided clicking on it like three times. Uh, robot count, combat robotics, shooting speed. It's none of those. Oh, it's that one. Uh, you need 20, 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay, that should do us. Uh, fusion reactor can go in there. <coughs> Uh, that battery pack can go in there. Okay, where were we? Uh, we're trying to fix up power. Uh, no, I don't think I need mini me's. I don't need electric engines. I don't need 151 copper cable. Uh, we're trying to get these guys done. It's looking a little bit better. Oh, really? You don't... Because the change in shape. Uh, where's that stone? Wee. Okay, maybe not auto trash the stone. Turns out I actually want it for a change. All right, I need more of these things. Just now. I'm sick of waiting. Uh, also, I want to know how my concrete is going. Uh, matter of interest. Concrete. 2k. Well, in that case. Uh, actually. Let's do it like. 50 tiles. Yeah, 50 tiles wide. That should cover our whole boss. Pretty much. Okay. Uh, um, explosive excavation. That's the other thing. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Uh, you can get upgraded and you can get upgraded because you both look odd. Uh... Have them. Have them. I need spares. I need you to have speed modules and you to have speed modules. And you know what? I'm just going to remove the inserter. It just seems like it's causing me too many hassles. Uh, you don't make satellites. That's right. I never automated satellites. So it's fine. It won't auto launch. Uh, yeah. Blue is not backed up to here anymore. So we're slowly burning through blue. blue yellow and purple. Yeah, we're slowly burning through it. It's just that everything else had a longer belt buffer than what red and green did. So we've just increased red and green a little bit because they don't have a belt buffer. And hopefully that means everything can catch up. Uh, yeah, there's going to be a lot of robots flying around the network. Uh, we want to go this way, this way. Uh, around, through. <sighs> Come on. Please. Pretty please, like just make the explosives, make it go boom faster. Uh, nope. It looks like our power is getting worse the more I look at it. Sure.
All right, next episode for sure, I can see us having to do uranium because um, power-wise, this is ridiculous. Like that and our coal patch, it's 9.2 million. Oh, there's another 40 million right there. Okay, maybe we won't do coal power. Uh, maybe we won't do Covrex or nuclear rather. Uh, copy. Ridiculous amounts of power. You know, it's literally right there. That's the solution to my problems. Uh, put a power pole there, put a power pole there. That's all going to line up, that's all going to join up, that's going to join up, that's going to join up. 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 Come on, robots. Mm. You're intentionally trying to drag the episode out, aren't you, bots? Uh, I don't even know what tab it's under. That one. Okay, fine. Uh... Same time, I'm going to want one of them built, and we're going to want a crest. 120 of them, please. <clears throat> yeah, this is going to be my answer. I'm just going to spam down a whole heap of them, and we're just going to hit the, hit the next coal mine. On their way, 22. Come on, you guys can do it. You guys can do it. And we should have on their way 60. 60? Oh. Okay, I don't know where all the rest went. <coughs> Actually, maybe I just capped it to 60. Uh, radar coverage. There are some explosives. Okay. No. No, Jedi. That's too much. Okay. We're going to go click. And then we're going to go... Okay. First off, we're going to try and get one of these guys. And... Okay. So it doesn't work. We're going to get landfill. Put it right there. Then that works. Okay. So I was off with the new... Uh, offshore pump measurements. Because like I said, these are new. They, they, they look different. They feel different. Uh, we want to go there and there. There and there. And then landfill that one in. Landfill. Oh. <sighs> that one in. Um, and like I said, like my attitude is if an engineer can launch a damn rocket to space, he can take rocks and shove rocks together and form them into a solid mass that he can then use to landfill. I'm pretty sure that he could probably whack together enough explosives. Oh, 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 oh. And also whack together enough explosives that he can take out cliffs that will not die to nuclear explosions. Um, I figure he could probably whack together enough explosives to... Uh, sink a hole down to the water table. That's my argument. Um, and it just simplifies water. Like, water's, water's an infinite resource that's really easy to get. It is a little bit of a logistics nightmare if you want to try and transport it, um, even via trains. So, my answer is we just mod in something. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to... We're going to go there and there. And that's great, because I can copy that as a patch. Because these particular robots, for whatever reason, will not interact with anything that's liquid. Uh, only the normal robots will do that. So it means I can place all these things exactly where I need them. And cancel that request. And throw that... Well, actually, 
rather than throw it in the network, how about I just do those two? Uh, offshore pumps, offshore pumps, offshore pumps are under... Uh, it's under that one, isn't it? Oh, it is. I'm looking for the old graphics. Uh, there and there. Okay, uh, I'm not requesting those anymore, so they won't shut my inventory. Uh, okay, we had you going that way. Oops. And then you're going to go into that one. You're going to go into the next one. Did I not have more mini-me's on me? No. Uh, you're going to go into that one. Oh, crap. There's another, another one. Okay. I was fixing the power problem for good. Uh, copy that. Paste that there and there. And drag this all the way. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Robo port. Yes, right here seems like a good spot. Next robo port, say here. Next robo port, say here. And next one. Sure, done. Uh, I have not a single power pole on me. Ah, uh, still a thousand in storage. Okay, so that should get all that built. Um, it's going to take them the, the, the base a while to build it, only because like none of this stuff's set to build quickly, and I just pasted down a absolute crap ton of it, but it should get built. Um, these guys are definitely all running correctly, so I'm happy here. Um, these are standard offshore pumps, so there's nothing special about them. And with that, I'm going to call the episode. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, we have... Oh. We still got a couple of researches to go. We should have enough research that we should be done by the end of the week, I hope. Um, our module production, which I am going to have to add to our list, is 58 0 because for some reason a mess happened. Oh, an absolute mess happened. What the hell did I. Do? I don't know. I'm going to have to go fix that. All right, I'm going to have to go fix that. We'll do that in the next episode. Anyway, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you're enjoying it. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. All right, bye.